this video I'm going to show you how to make these 3D style Peppa Pig cookies. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Here are the things that I'm going to use. An almost 3 inch flour cookie cutter came in a set and I got that from Walmart. An almost 4 inch Peppa Pig cookie cutter and got that from eBay. Going to be using lemon yellow, pink, red, and brown food coloring all by Wilton. And some pre-made icing eyes that I got from eBay. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so this is what it's going to look like when you have your imprint on it. So what I have here is my little bit darker pink. And I'm just going to go inside the little lines that it has. And this is optional, but I do recommend doing these uh, a darker line around the face. And my icing is in a flood just a tiny bit thicker not too much you can make it thicker if you like uh, I'm not gonna do this line here I will do that later on and um, that's it I'm not gonna outline the rest of the like the dress or anything else um, you can if you like but I'm going to um, just fill that in later on as well so I'm gonna finish up the rest give this about an hour to dry and then we can move on Okay, so I gave this some time to dry, so I'm going to start off with the face first and then the dress, just so I don't accidentally puncture my icing. I have here my lighter pink in a tip 2 and my pink that I used for the outline in a tip 1. And I'm going to use that to do my uh, cheek and the uh, nose part. So what you're going to do here is just uh, fill in the entire face. So just go ahead and fill it in. And smooth your icing out. Alright, okay, so now go ahead with your darker pink right here by the cheeks, cheek area. Just go ahead and make a little circle. And then here by the nose. And then do two little dots right here too. And that's pretty much it. Now you can give this some time to dry, maybe an hour. It is about 45 minutes to dry. I'm gonna go ahead with my red now on the dress, and this is a tip two in a flooding consistency, but not too runny because I don't want it all over the place. So what I'm gonna do is it uh, it's gonna be going into the little lines that the impression has for the dress. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in and then smooth the icing out. You just make sure you bring that red and attach it to the bottom of that line. And that's pretty much it for the dress. Really simple. Okay, so now I want to give this um, probably another hour and a half to dry because I want to go in here with my yellow and I don't want any of that red to sink into that. Alright, so I gave this some time to dry so I whipped up a little bit more icing. I used the same one that I used for the flooding except for I added a little bit more powdered sugar to thicken it up a little bit because we have to uh, put this icing in these little channels and so I want it a little bit thicker. So I have it in a tip one and I'm just going to put the icing inside these are super super tiny but with a tip one you can get that icing in there and then for the tail I'm going to start off from the end and that 
that's it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and whip up my yellow for the boots. All right, so I have my yellow here in a tip one, and I'm just going to fill in the little indentation that it has given me, which is her little leg and her shoe. If you don't wanna do the uh, rain boots or the mud like I'm gonna be doing them, just go ahead and add a little bit of pink here in that line right there, and then black here for the shoes. But I'm gonna be using the little rain boots, so I'm just gonna fill in the little channel that it is there. And this is what it's gonna sort of look like if you um, don't use the boots, but in, in pink and black. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fill it in a little bit more, bring it down a little bit lower to make it look more like a boot. And as you can see here, the icing is um, not very runny, so uh, do keep that in mind so you can um, control it and shape it. If it's too runny, it's gonna go all over the place. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the face. Um, I'm gonna be using the eyes, and what I'm gonna be doing is adding a little bit of um, white icing, which is in a little bit of a thick consistency. And I'm just gonna add some of it here. And I'm gonna attach the eye like that. And I'm gonna do the other one here. And attach that there. And so it's like super, super easy because they're already pre-made and ready to go. And now I'm going to be using my red. And I'm going to do her little mouth. You can use the um, darker pink also, but I'm going to be using this red. And it's the same one that I used for her dress, except for I added a little bit more powdered sugar to it to thicken it up a little bit. And there you have it. So... I think she is completely done. I do have to give her some time to dry because I will be handling her to stand her up on the mud. So I want to make sure that the rain boots are nice and dry. Alrighty, so I gave this some time to dry. So I have here my brown in a somewhat thick consistency. Um, I did a couple of them before this and um, it wasn't as thick as I would like it to be. So try to make it uh, somewhat thick so it could uh, grab on to this cookie here. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I have it in a tip six, by the way. I'm just going to add some here at the very bottom, just like a strip. And I'm going to be using the six slits instead of like a piece of cookie you can make little squares like maybe if you have an inch a square cookie cutter and then just cut um, those and bake them and then use them to help prop your cookie up that'll work pretty well because um it'll be a little bit thick and and um, give you a little bit of height here as a wall to support it but i've been just using these lately and they've been working okay so far. These are the larger ones. They come in two different sizes, the small one and these larger ones. So I've been just using these, but you can use a piece of cookie if you like. I'm gonna put just a little bit more here and on the sides. I'm gonna be adding that um, other icing on there after this dries. So this is what I'm gonna do for this part here and then I'm gonna let this dry just a tad bit because I want that to anchor and attach to that cookie and then I'm gonna finish up the bottom and that'll be it. Okay, so I gave this about uh, 35 minutes to dry. Now I have here in a bit of a flooding consistency uh, but not too runny because uh, I'm going to try to go really close to the edge so I don't want this to spill over. I have it in a tip two and it's just the same brown but I thinned it down a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and hide this uh, thick part of the mud. So basically just go ahead and fill in the entire cookie which is a little flour. And do go over just a tad over that uh, thicker icing and then just smooth everything out. I'm going to just Start with the front and then I'm going to go to the back. Just smooth it out like if you would do any other cookie that you're flooding in. Alright, 
made so I'm pretty happy with that got it all smoothed out and covered all around so that's pretty much it I'm gonna give this about an hour and a half to dry I'm gonna finish up the rest and that'll be all guys I decided to do this last minute uh, you may want to do this before you attach her to the mud so when the dress is dry you can go ahead and do this here I switched my tip to a number one the same one that I used for this and then just draw somewhat of a like an X design doesn't have to be perfect because it is like a splattered um, design like she's been splashing in the mud so it doesn't have to be super super perfect maybe add a little bit here on her boot it is optional but I think it gives a little bit more character and it makes her look like she's been uh, playing in the mud instead of being all super clean so anyways uh, it is optional like I said um, again do it before you stick her on here or you can do what I did and just wait for this to um, dry for like an hour and then you can um, hold her and and do that this way so now I can go ahead and uh, put them all together all right guys there you have your 3d style Peppa Pig cookies I hope you like how they turned out I've been wanting to do these for the longest and I finally got to them so I hope you enjoy the video I did do a couple here without the base in case you didn't want to do them this way you can do it just like your regular flat cookie you can leave her uh, boots out in the mud if you just want to do her uh, regular with her little black shoes. Um, another thing, I did leave one here without the extra detail so you can see whether you like um, her plain or with the extra detail on there. I did think of this till afterwards, so I do recommend doing it when you um, are doing the, the cookie when she's flat and then attaching it to the cookie just in case your icing is a little bit runny you don't want that uh, to run down luckily mine stood while she was still standing it stood in place so um, that worked out okay another thing the cookie cutter I will link it below it is rather thin so you will have to roll your dough thinly so this can go all the way to the bottom and you'll be able to cut it if you roll your dough like you normally do, it's not going to touch the bottom and you won't be able to cut your cookie out because there's, you know, it's not touching the bottom and it's not um, giving you a cut. So I do recommend rolling your dough thinly so you will have to bake it uh, for less time or else it will burn because it is um, not thick like normal. And your cookie might be a little bit more on the crispier side because it is thinner. So I did want to let you know about that, that it is not cut like a normal cookie cutter. It is very shallow. It's pretty thin. It's an, a great cookie cutter. It gives you a nice impression, but you will have to roll your dough rather thinly. All right, guys. I believe that is all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Stay tuned for more. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a good one.